pretty much. We'll buy two. <laughs> well, alrighty then. Ah! Cool. Well, good thing as you got soon that as one. I got it. <laughs> that was so worth it. And here we are, the finale to Pac-Man World. All right, so yeah, right before we get into Thanksgiving, we're doing the last of the Halloween levels. <laughs> well, we tried. From one holiday to the other. If you were to do an aesthetic for like a level or even a game around like Thanksgiving, how would you do it? Because like, I don't know of any games where it's just like, ah, this will be our Thanksgiving video game. I feel like I would make it like fall themed, but like, yeah, a, definitely jo like a joyous fall. Okay. Um, Maybe like something like a Dutch aesthetic, where it was like windmills and yeah, and um, like really colorful lumberjack. leaves and. Mm -hmm. Um, I would probably have some sort of like mini, not like a mini side quest, but like like find the food oh, okay. or like harvest the food. So about like food gathering. Yeah. So because Thanksgiving, we could play a Kirby like, game where he eats everything. Yeah. Here we go. This <laughs> ah, is our Thanksgiving video game. Um, because despite what Thanksgiving actually is mm -hmm. of the pilgrims killing all the Indians. Right. Um, it was like the time of harvest. Yes. So it's like, that's what I would go off of. I would do like a harvest. Like, oh, jeez. Like a lot of cornucopias. So yeah, this is the last regular level in the game. You gotta be careful with these thunderclouds. It took me a while to realize you can actually jump on them. That's how you get the fruit and stuff like that. But you can't stay on them for a while because the clouds will disappear. God, I wanna just sleep on the clouds. <laughs> See? Poof! Just like that. I remember finding out that clouds were just water vapors and you would just fall through them and I was devastated. Because you always wanted to sleep on a cloud? Yes, to just be like, ah. Oh, Haven't you ever been to Bed Bath & Beyond? It's like sleeping on a cloud. <laughs> you just kind of soak into the mattress. I have always wanted to lay down on one of the beds in like Bed Bath & Beyond, but I've always been too like nervous. A little too self-conscious? Yeah. It's just like, listen, if I go out, I may never come back. Yeah. <laughs> People will be like, they like listen. You turn the corner. There's just I could you, very just easily just, just, just like, like fall asleep here. And then it's just like as you, the salesman would be like, as you can see, it's very effective. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. We'll buy two. <laughs> well, alrighty then. Ah! Cool. Well, good thing as you got that As soon as I got it, <laughs> that was so worth it. Ah, melons. Ah, oh, lemons. Ah, uh, lemons. Yeah, there, that's what it is. We just changed the fruit. Yep. Occasionally. We did our own joke just wrong enough. <laughs> that Boy. way we can't copyright ourselves. Exactly. Ah, oh, lemons. All right. Oh, there's Miss Pac-Man in a cage way in the distance. Where she belongs. Help, excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I did not expect that at all, coming from you of all people. Shame. I can be dark. That's save the princess. We gotta save our wife. And we got the key from the last level. That was a very dude joke. That was. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I usually don't make those kinds of jokes, but you it usually just... go bruh, bruh or woof. Yeah. Like I'll I'll tell a dude joke on this show, and you'll go bruh, bruh. silence, and I'm just like. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Not telling that again. No, it's fine. You can tell dude jokes. Just when I tell a dude joke, laugh. <laughs> I get like ser seriously like. <laughs> just a little chuckle. It doesn't have to I be a even... hard chortle. It doesn't have to be a belly laugh. When like when you saw the picture of Booka oh on the toilet. God, I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so funny. I'm gonna put that in our Discord. Um, yeah, you should. Just for, join our Discord just for, for anyone, fun, goofy pictures of our puppers and kittens. Everyone listening, because I think we have a file like for yes. like show us your pets. Yes, show us your pets. Um, Ow, that wasn't nice. 
It respawned right on top of me. But like, it's just one nice. of those- Nice, all letters collected. Yeah, it's just one of those things that it sounds so ridiculous. Like they have to be making it up. No, we have a picture yep. of the cat just chilling on the toilet. Yep. She's just standing there like, oh, hi. <laughs> It looks like she was sitting. Like she was, like her belly fur was in the toilet. Oh. Uh, see, it looked, from what I was looking at, she was like standing on the rim, just kind of looking down. Like, you see, he lives in you. <laughs> <laughs> like just, uh, she, she's just reenacting the Lion King. <laughs> that's not Milo. That's just my reflection. Aww. No. You harder. <laughs> Aww. Bubka, where am I? You have forgotten me. No, how could I? You have forgotten who you are and so have forgotten me. Look inside yourself, Bubka. You are <laughs> more than what you've become. You must take your place in the circle of life. How can I go back? Poor Bubka. Remember who She's like, I can't go back. They took the freezer, they took the bedroom, <laughs> they took everything from me. Remember who you are. You are a scared shitless little cat. <laughs> Remember. She's like, but now I know what love are. is. And stop looking, they'll throw shit at you. <laughs> <laughs> I always make sure it's soft. It's either like a pillow or a little ball of yarn or Wesker's like, yep, all the hard shit goes to me. <laughs> <laughs> I only throw hard shit like the hard shit that I throw is still light stuff. Like, I'll throw a pencil. Yeah. Or... Throw a pencil, it jabs him in the eye. Oh, my God. Hey, now I really can see out of this eye. <laughs> Originally, it was 144p. Now it's 0p. <laughs> no, I try to make sure that if I'm going to, like, toss something at A, it's not hard. I literally mm -hmm. just, like, drop it so that it taps him. Mm -hmm. Um but I, I really do try to make sure it's nothing that could hurt him. Yeah. Because I just want him to, like, stop, yeah. not hurt him. Stop. I'm just like, listen, I can't. I'm sorry. I have problems. The licking bothers you. The I'm going to scratch, miss completely, and s thump <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> That's what gets under my skin. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, pups. Well, it's just like the sound of licking because it's not just the dog. Like, I hate it when the cats do it. I hate it when you do it, when you're eating. I don't lick myself. No, but like when you're eating uh, and I just give you that look of like, bro. When I, and when I like, enjoy your cooking you're a like, bit <laughs> too much. You're, you're like, I'm sorry, it's delicious. And I'm like, listen, I really appreciate that. But like, can you close your mouth? <laughs> close your mouth before you chew. Close your mouth before you talk. <laughs> No, no. Because I'm fair. over here, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> and then we're both going to be sad. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, all right, fair enough. But yeah, sometimes your cooking is just so good. It's mainly whenever I make, like, chicken nuggets and tater mm -hmm. tots. <laughs> and you're just like, this is delicious. And I'm like, well, great, I'm glad I spent two and a half hours on dinner yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I, I suck down tater tots. Oh god, me so too. Always gets I love tater tots. That's I. So we bought um, a chest freezer. Yes. Mainly for Thanksgiving, so that I could store stuff and buy gradually instead of like spending hundreds of dollars yep. all at once. Because we're Sam's Club members. Yes. Yeah. Um, which is totally worth it. If you think like, oh, it's just me and another person, or it's just me, like I shouldn't get a Sam's Club membership. Fucking do it. It's so worth it. Yeah. Um, especially if you have like social anxiety, mm -hmm. um, with because I have really bad social anxiety, especially in like grocery Here stores. It is the last maze of the game. So like, it's just so much nicer. It's cleaner. Like, the people don't look like they hate themselves. Um, that you know of. That I know. Of. Well, they don't. They don't look like they hate themselves. It's like, not like Walmart where like it's just all of like, the employees oh. that I've had contact with at Sam's Club are very nice. They're very helpful. They're probably paid um, well. We're treated well. Yeah. Or a little bit of both. There's just, like, there's a standard at Sam's Club that you just don't get if you're going to, like, Walmart or, mm -hmm. you know, like, a lower-end grocery store. Yeah. Um, and they do free samples, and, like, the sample ladies are so cute. Yes. Like, <laughs> When when we went together and she was like, try this cheese. And I was like, oh my God, this cheese is delicious. She's like, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I 
when everybody leaves, I sample a couple myself. I know. Like, she was just so cute. Um, so it's totally worth it. And, like, a lot of the stuff that they have is bulk items, but not, like, crazy bulk items. So, like, mm -hmm. me and my roommates, whenever I had roommates, had a Costco membership. And that was, like, that's bulk items. That's way more bulk than like what you would get at sam's club okay so it's like the bulk items that we buy are like oh you know you get six chicken breasts in this instead of just four <laughs> I'm like oh yeah we can totally do that there we go we saved miss pac-man now we rescued his whole family see how she just fucking leave she didn't even thank him she gave us some health yes she did she said, you're my hero, Smooch. I'll see you at Talkman's party. We're uh, going to crash it. I was talking about chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hungry. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We're making pancakes later. We're going to eat soon. All right. This is our last chance at this bonus level. Can I do it? There's no going back. There's no retries. I'm not doing any more. It's this and the final boss. Got a life. I think I know it now. Just keep moving. Always jump on a platform. Don't jump anywhere near one that might disappear. We're doing good so far. This is the best we've done thus far. Well, I was going to say, they only disappear when you step on them, right? Yeah. So, like, my problem was, like, I'd bounce. And oh. I'd just be like, oops, and I'd lose control. A butt bounce. Whereas, like, right now, I just, like, kind of, like, move around a bit, and I circle back instead of trying to get them as soon as they pop out. Yeah, you let them linger for a sec. Okay, and then we hit this switch, and that lets these come out. Yay, I might complete my first bonus level in this world. Just a nice, satisfying way to end the playthrough. I like when they end on a high note, not a boy yeah. blob where it's just like, oh, Thank nice, God a it's glitch. Over. Uh huh. Just like, cool. I never have to play that goddamn game again. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, check out the Boy and His Blob playthrough if you hate yourself. It's it not a very... looks beautiful. It starts um, positive, and then it's just me bitching for the last yeah. 10 episodes. It, so it if you like really that pretty, kind of thing, but <laughs> it's funny when he's angry. But yeah, it is not um, the best Shit. put together game. Which then looking at the team, like it had a very small team of people working on it. Had a it. small team of designers, but a fair size of like artists. Yeah. And I think that was the issue. Which is why it looked beautiful, but like it didn't play well. Yeah. It, it needed a couple more cooks in that kitchen <laughs> to iron out all the little. Like, it for sure hey. needed a sous chef. Yes. That it did. All right. This is it. See, we'll be there for you when you need us the most. All right, here we go. Now there's a shortcut scene that has voice acting, and then we go right into the battle. And now, here's the guy you've all been waiting for. Let's hear it for Pac-Man. love me. <laughs> That's the kind of steel toe that I need. Plans for the last time, Pac-Man. All right, here we go. Talk Man's Lair. This is the final battle. All right, so the hardest part starting out is stay clear of all the ghosts running around because you don't have a power pellet, so they'll never turn blue in this battle. You just got to avoid them. And what you got to do in this first phase is smack talk man with the pellets, the pellet shooter that you have. Okay. And similar to the Chrome Keeper, talk man also has a health meter, and that's what you see over on the yeah. left there. That's his health meter. So every time he shoots to the ground, he's going to give you a couple pellets. Collect them, and be quick about it, because they do disappear. Oh. Now, if you lose health, your family members will give you more health. That's the significance of okay, saving of them. Finding. So is it like if you don't find your family member, they just don't exist in well, this game anymore? Or like, do you what do you I, have to find the family? What I remember is you have to find them, otherwise the door to Talkman's lair Won't remains open. closed. Okay. 
so you have to find all the family members. You can do all the levels up to Talkman's level, but if you haven't found the family members, I'm pretty sure the doors stay closed. Okay. This is actually the first time I ever got to Talkman's Lair. Really? Yeah. Um, this is the first time I've played most of this game, because I only played it as a rental at my cousin's place gotcha. way back when, yeah. and we beat the pirate world. So most of this game was relatively blind. I just practiced a bit before I recorded. Yeah. It is nice when there's a game that you can practice. Yeah. So boy, this blob auto saved, so yes. you can practice. Yeah, and for a future game that auto saves, I'm just going to play the entire game first, and that'll be my practice, instead of being like, oh, I'll just I'll just blind run this game that auto saves. Yeah. So I can't really practice much. All right, so this is the second phase. He's going to do his own butt bounce that lets loose a nasty shockwave. My strategy is to keep bouncing yourself. <laughs> oh, I was like, is this the, the repercussion of that? <laughs> He's just ass over 10 hit, cups. Yeah, when you hit all the switches, the middle of the stadium becomes a magnet and it draws him in and then you can butt bounce on his head. Oh. So there's a total of three phases in this battle. We're on the second one now. Ah, damn. Thank you, Professor Pack. Give me just a little bit more health. All right, nice. Yeah, like I said, the hardest part is steering clear of all the ghosts because they're gonna stay here, I'm pretty sure, throughout the whole battle. Yeah. And they'll just keep zipping around and you don't want to touch them. Here we go. All right. Ha-ha. Conk. So is it like each hit is one, like, pillbox of... Pac-Man's health? Yeah. Uh, well, of the, like, junk man? Pac-Man? Talk man? Talk man? So are you talking about when I, like, smack him like this? Yeah, so, like, when you smack yeah, him, so it's, like, one... Here. Oh, I missed. Ah, oh, crap. No! All right, I gotta do it again. My Sorry, I distracted you in the, a little bit. in the perfect place of this pre-recorded playthrough. <laughs> I wasn't blaming you. I was no, just like, it really oh, was like no, I missed. It was really like the perfect timing though, because I'm like, so what yeah. does this do? And you're like, here, let me show you. Oh fuck, I missed it. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's basically Origami King in a nutshell. What does that do? Well, it's not effective to this boss. Oh. Don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like, stop yelling at me. <laughs> All right, so this is the third phase. So he's going to do his own rev roll, and he's gonna zip around the stadium. I'm not yelling at you, I'm yelling at the situation. <laughs> well, it sounds a lot like you're yelling at me. I mean, you just yelled back. Yeah. Look where I'm pointing, <laughs> you <laughs> dumb shit. Cause you'd be like, where do I have to go? And I was literally sitting on the floor in front of the TV pointing yeah. to where you needed to go. And I'm like, here, where, where my finger is at, asshole. I am Vanna Whiting for you, you dumb asshole. I don't care how you Come get on. here, just get here. <laughs> Meet me on my level. Okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, he is almost dead. One more hit. Kick him while he's down. Come on, talk man. Oh, no. Um, well. <laughs> so if you die, you have to start the whole fight. Oh, Lord. Over again. It doesn't go phase by phase. Oh, that's tragic. And I was like, oh, boy. All right. But now we know not what not to do. We just got to do it correctly. So back to the first phase. Get your pellets all together. Damn it. Stupid goddamn ghost. Get out of my way! I'm trying to kill your master. There we go. And the music, the music for this battle is actually really cool. It's kind of like this like <laughs> psychedelic organ. Okay. I just, I just had the thought of this is, this works in both ways where like, you look like Talk Man when you're hungry, mm -hmm. and I'm like running around trying to find something to feed you because you're getting mean. <laughs> um, but it is also the same when I am hungry, I turn into Talk Man, and you're just like, oh my god, here's a banana! <laughs> here's a Belvita! Just eat something! Yeah. We both get hangry. I just get hangry quicker. Yes. I believe. Yes. 
I go through phases before I hit hangry. Oh, okay. Whereas I, I like beeline right to hangry. I like, right now I'm in the spaz moment of being mm -hmm. hungry where like I'm hungry. So I'm just kind of like. Yeah, I'm starting to get hungry myself. Um, Definitely after this episode, we're going to go. Yeah. Make some pancakes. Pancakes. I'll make a little pancake for Wesky. Um, oh, come on, buddy. Whereas you go straight from like, hey, are you hungry? I'm getting there to like 10 minutes like. Why isn't help? this cooking faster? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh yeah, you do. You do hit the. Do you need help? Yeah. So that's the little grace period. Yeah. Do you need help? Is like a five minute warning before yeah. I go into hangry. <laughs> do you need help? Is there anything I can do? Just get out of my kitchen. But I'm starving. And you're like, but I'm hungry now. <laughs> and then I'll like grab a banana as I'm leaving. I'm just <laughs> it's like you do that. <laughs> Whereas I go spaz mode, and then I get really quiet, and then I get spacey, and then I get mean. Mm -hmm. The worst is when we're hangry on the way home. Oh we my both God. do it. We expect dinner to be somewhere. Yeah. Is it on the table? Is it in the fridge? Is it in the microwave? Oh my God. And if not, there's going to be mass disappointment. <laughs> I think that is the one time where it's just like, I don't know about you, but I'll be like, yeah. Her, I got the text that she left. I better get something together. Yeah. Just in case. But because I know you're fasting, I'll message you and be like, are you hungry? Yeah. That lets me know, okay. I And I, in your I'm defense, that's the together. difficultness because I do start fasting at like 7 o'clock. But mm -hmm. it depends on when my lunch at work falls. Yeah, which because I don't Because sometimes know. I'll get sent to lunch at 3 o'clock, which means I haven't eaten since 3 o'clock. So yeah. I'm fucking hungry. Oh, yeah. And it just kind of like throws off the fast because it's like you shouldn't fast. Well, you can, but for for that long, like for me, that's not. And that microwave door always sounds louder I when know. there's no food in it. I know. Because <laughs> that's the first place that both of us check when we come in. You open the microwave. Fuck, there's nothing in there. <laughs> like, <laughs> just like, well. God damn it. All righty. <laughs> All right, so we're into the third phase now. I have a lot more health. If you stand in the middle, he will actually rev roll around you. So that's a good thing to take note of. See? Oh. He can't hit you if you stay in the middle. That makes this third phase a lot more bearable. Oh, oh yeah. He'll also mix it up and do the butt bounce sometimes too. Come on, buddy, get back to the rev roll. Where's my chicken? Because if he just keeps doing this, I gotta stay away from him. Where's because my I can't attack potatoes? Him. Come on, come on, come on. I think even if I get hit, I'll we're get having health. corn again. Yep, Professor Pack. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. That's you. I could take corn every day. Because corn just like is such a beautiful bowel movement. <laughs> <laughs> It's very healthy. It feels good. I'm just like, ah, I'm healthy. Whereas, like, some of those greens, it's just like, uh oh. Help! I like. We I got them. Like a variety of veggies. All right, here we go. And just so you know, this cutscene changes in the repack. Oh. He's like, nobody loves a ghost. I just wanted to be like you. And Pac-Man goes, I like you. In my belly! Ah. So apparently in the repack, you have the option to forgive him. And they'll show you. Oh, okay. That's the, re that's the new ending. The original is, I love you, in my belly. All right, we rescued everybody. We got 95% complete. To get 100%, we just have to finish the marathon, which we're not going to do in this playthrough. The marathon is just doing all of the mazes, one after another. Oh, okay. So you do that, you get 100% completion. But you saw all the mazes. Yeah. Again, we're not going to do the marathon in this playthrough. 
So we'll just sit back, watch the credits. That's Pac-Man World. Final thoughts, if you please. It was it was cute. Um, I I definitely um loosened up a little bit on it okay. as we went. Um, just because it's like it is very different from like the traditional arcade Pac-Man. Yeah. Um, but the little illusions that they have to the original throughout the game, I feel like, does tie it back to its predecessor. Yeah. Um. So while I'm like, oh, you know, it is what it is. Um. The settings were really cute. The, you know, the goal was very clear. Mm-hmm. You know, s- save your family. Um. I don't know if I would have enjoyed playing it because there are a lot of like trial and error. Yes. Where it's like it gets you have pretty to, tough. Like, you have to like go on. down into like the sewer system or something like that. But if you jump over that area, you miss like the entire section. Yes. So um, I don't know if I would like playing it, but it was fun to watch. Okay then. So between this and Klonoa, which of Namco's properties did you prefer? Oh, Klonoa, easy. Why is that? Um, I I feel like Klonoa it had a little bit more depth. Okay. So it had more character and just um. It was a little bit more grown up. Okay. And that sounds Both weird. Both or? Yeah. Okay. Just thematically, it was a little bit um, more well-rounded, I guess. So whereas- <laughs> Even though Pac-Man's more well-rounded? Yeah, like he is actually <laughs> rounded. Um, but no, I think that Klonoa has more of a story. Yeah. Whereas like this one, and again, this works because like the original Pac-Man is literally just eat. Eat ghosts. Yeah. Yep. And don't die. Get the die. high score. Yep. So I think that it works for this, that it doesn't have a deeper story. I feel like if it did, it would kind of cheapen okay. um, the relationship between the original arcade game. Do you look forward to seeing Pac-Man World 2 in the near future? Yeah. All right then. I can I can get on board. Um, Cause it's part of the game collection, so it's, <laughs> yeah. it's in there. Speaking of which, right after this, stay tuned because we're going to spin the wheel and show you the next game. Thank you all for watching Pac-Man World. We'll see you all in the next playthrough. Toodles. <laughs>